I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. Pinterest and I found a coffee table that I really like. I went to Goodwill. I did find out where people are using oven cleaner, so I decided to try that. And I'll show you the process. So guys, when I was at Goodwill, I did notice a latch under the coffee table. I didn't know what it was. When I got home, I was curious, so I looked under it. It does make into a dining table. I'm gonna show you how I distressed it, how the oven cleaner worked for me. If you do like it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. So this is a table I found at Goodwill. Now, I almost didn't buy it because on the bottom, it was, it did have very, like, very deep scratches. But, yeah. Here is the first coat. And also, I want to, I want to suggest if you guys do use this method to strip your paint, your wood, um, if you cannot find the film free like me, um, wear a mask yeah yeah i had to put this on hold and go get a mask and um yeah it took three coats of this so so after um i let it sit for like four hours i did come back and i scrubbed it now you have to use something like you know a brush like this something that's gonna scrape it off because i did notice that it does leave residue if you don't use the scrub brush but yeah like I said I did this method three times so afterwards I got the water hose I was nervous about this part wood and water yeah it scared me but i watched everybody else do it i watched a lot of um people on instagram do it so i said if they, they did it so can i so i took the chance after the third time this is what it looks like now the wood does have to dry so it wasn't exactly what i the color i wanted but i did know that the influencers i watched did say you have to let it dry so I let it dry like I said I was nervous about those scratches down there and yeah I'll show you what it looks like when it's dry now we only get one life I want to make it count honey come on now and take my hand hey darling I love it when it's me and so as you can see, I didn't wait for it to fully dry. I had to bring it inside because I was worried about the scratches. And the more it was drying, I noticed that the more they were showing. So I ended up bringing a sanding block out with a 220 sandpaper and um, it wasn't doing anything. So I did end up using my electric sander. I used 80 grit and then I used the 220 and the sanding block for the rest of the table and the hard reach areas. And after that, I just added some, a little bit of pickled oak and some matte polycrylic, and this is the final look. My opinion on the oven cleaner, I will use it again. I did like it. Even though I did three applications, I just had to do a light sanding, which I'm not a big fan of sanding, so it did help the sanding a lot more. Um, and I did add a little bit of um, pickled oak to the table at the end. But I really like it. I like the way it turned out. I have did other, I have done other projects with the oven cleaner, and um, again, I did do light sanding. One thing I can say is that it does work. In my opinion, it does work different on different kinds of wood, different types of wood. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think. Here's a picture of the inspo, and um, let me know if you like it. I love it. I like the way it turned out. Perfect size for my space. So. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. We can look back someday.